Need a wicket, South Africa. New Zealand, another boundary would help. Oh, it's gone up now. Someone's got to get to this, surely. Someone's got to get to it. South Africa versus New Zealand, just an insane last couple of overs. I mean, I watched it like this. <laughs> and Grant Elliott was the hero who broke South Africa's hearts. Talk to me about calling that match. Well, being a South African too for Grant Elliott, there's so much I remember about that last over because, uh, you know, it was so crucial. Um, obviously, we knew what was at stake. That was a day that had rain involved in it. So those games are sort of disjointed. And, uh, and then Brendan McCullum came out and launched us into this remarkable run chase. So we got to that scenario and I, I, I felt that with Daniel Vittori out there we had a really cool experience here and, and Grant Elliott's just one of those cool sort of cookies that you can rely on. Here we go, Dale Stain. Elliott on strike. When it went into the uh, grandstand, I didn't see where it ended, but I knew he'd hit it that well, that it was gone, and, and you could just tell. And then, of course, Eden Park was just, it was like everyone had thrown their arms up in the air in the crowd. Everyone was yelling and screaming, uh, uh, dancing and whatever, and you, you just could not look out the window and go up with it. It was, it was phenomenal. I think I said something ridiculous like, um, you know, New Zealand are on the way to the big dance or something like that or you know and Grant Elliott's Superman or those sorts of things just come to your mind. It was just bizarre. I mean anyone that was at that ground that night I uh, think it's probably the most amazing atmosphere of sport perhaps in this country of all time. Uh, you, you get a bit lost in it in the commentary because you, you can't dwell on that but I'll never forget the reaction. Grant Elliott, what a super innings. New Zealand side out on the park, absolutely jubilant. Probably as big a high as I ever had out on the playing field, ever had on the playing field, uh, was in that commentary box that night. It was just, it's one of those things, you know, you do so much commentary around the, on so, much, so many great spectacles and things, but it's, it's, it's one of those that comes back to you real quick. And I think, you know, that was felt throughout the nation. Of course, mm. the, you felt it at the ground, but the ripple effect throughout New Zealand, it stayed with, it's still with us. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it is. I mean, people talk about it. Mm. You know, they relive it. Um, you know, Williamson became, a, if he wasn't already, a, a, a hero against Australia. And then all of a sudden, this Grand Elliot. Now, who the heck's Grand Elliot? <laughs> I mean, he's, and now, can't buy a beer. Tell us about it. Tell us about the, how you hit Dale Stane up under the grandstand for six. Did you have it under control? You know, as Graham Smith was next to me, Graham Smith, who'd been a passionate South African cricketer for so long, sitting there just looking out the window in disbelief. Another time that South Africa had fallen at that hurdle. And then he looked out at his former teammates and they were basically crying. There was, oh, morning Morkel in yeah, tears. Yeah, it was Dale Stane lying on the pitch. I mean, some of the, some of the feeling out there, and uh, I think television portrayed it beautifully yeah, they did. because they got the win, the loss, the winners, the losers, the absolute emotion of Elliot going to pick up Stane off the pitch, not celebrate, run around the ground like a madman, you know, just accept the fact that he'd done his bit and now it's time to just be sportsmen again and, and uh, respect the opposition. I just, it, just, it just absolutely, it's like a movie, it had everything. It, it just had everything that last 10 to 15 minutes and uh, it, was, it was just wonderful cricket, it really was.